sign that we looked at for yesterday's stream for right now. Um, talking with one of my friends and writers at PureMTGO.com. We are considering moving Brilliant Ultimatum out for Through the Breach. Um, through the, or Brilliant Ultimatum we don't actually cast. Through the Breach we could. It would be significantly easier to actually play Through the Breach than it would be Brilliant Ultimatum. So what I'm going to do is, every time Brilliant Ultimatum look, comes up today, I am going to ask myself, is this better than Through the Breach? Um, I assume it's going to be awful when I draw it, but not terrible when I narset it. So it's going to be kind of hard to, I guess, judge each card separately, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, we're going to head out in the tournament practice room again because, well, I don't have a sideboard yet. And that is something we need to actually do before we head into leagues or... Alright, cool. Side. Alright, just host new match. Start this game against Danny Demir. Hey, we won the die roll. Super cool. Would love to play first. Oh, this hands a million to six five. So we're gonna we're gonna throw it back anyways. Uh, not much better, so we're gonna throw this one back again too. Um We're going to go to four. Jeez, whatever. Snoring dead, you're going to be very disappointed. Uh, we'll throw that on the bottom. I haven't seen a reasonable hand. So... That's kind of disappointing. Alright, so we're against Tron. And we're, we're just going to go ahead and pack it up because this is not really helping anything. We're not getting any real work done. Yeah, we're moving into four. Woo! We probably could have won from there, maybe, if they don't do anything, but. I don't want to waste time, if that makes any sense. I mean, granted, I'm playing a Narsa combo deck, so not wasting time may not be the most uh, noble of goals. Yes, I would like to play first. And we'll keep this, mainly because we have a Faithless Looting. See, right now, this would be pretty okay as a Through the Breach. <laughs> but as it stands, it is pretty unremarkable. We'll go ahead and get Blood Crypt, and we'll take two, and we're looting. Oh gosh. That uh, was terrible. Alright, expedition map.
there's a vengeance. We're not going to pay two. So I reckon the plan is to play Bloodstained Mire, pop it, and Faithless Looting. And that wouldn't be a terrible plan. I'm now kind of terrified of Relic of Progenitus just coming out and wrecking me. We can vengeance and start doing things on turn four. Oh, yeah. Cool. It's a little explanation point. Shows up. Thought not seer. That is awesome. Sure you peep this little exclamation point whenever you hit six or F six or whatever now. When does it turn off? All right, so let's play Temple of Alice. That on the bottom. They got Warping Weld. That took an incredibly long time for them to do. That's not a good draw.
that's good. Alright, let's go for the next match. If we had a card drawer, we would keep this, but we do not. Same way with this one. Okay, we'll keep this one. I think I should have waited to flash back the Faithless Looting before I discarded Emrakul. Maybe my deck's just not very good. Maybe it needs to go back to the pool from eternity build. It's entirely possible I've just built a bad deck. Alright, so there's a Vengeance. We've got eight power worth of dudes in play. It's messaging me at 9.20. So I'm at one. I need looting into Narset and other guard. Or them to not buy all regery into play. Oh, there's Narset. Just came the wrong way.
I'm a little tired. And we'll keep this one. Removal. We've got early ways to put Narset into the graveyard. It's pretty ideal. Alright, let's go ahead and reunion these two Narsets. If we don't get spreading seeds, we're okay. We did not get spreading seized. So we will Vengeance and Narset. attack. Oof. There's two lands and an Ember Pool, so we're going to have to win straight off with Narset attacking. Uh, go ahead and cast this. Attack again. I should have played Temple. Alright, we've got Omniscience and Enter the Infinite as our super good spells this time. So we will Omniscience. Vengeance back on top. Now we'll cast. I don't know if I had enough turns uh, or enough attack stuff to actually win, but whatever, I'll take it. That's not cool. Show tech eighty nine. That said, I no longer want to play against this guy. So, I will be a seed. 
and that's just not cool, man. It's 2017. You just start talking like that. Grow up. And we'll keep this one. And we'll put that on top, I guess. Mountains for spear. Alright. No way to actually try to find Narsets. Blood Crypt, rather. I guess I need to cast a spirit guide to block and not die? No attacks. I guess I'm casting another spirit guide. What's going on the bottom? This is not great. This is not a very good showcase. There's a goblin guide. There's six counters on a shrine. Oh, my deck did a whole lot of nothing. Oh, outside of Cassidian Spirit Guides, I guess that's not terrible. 
Right, I'm dead to the shrine anyways, so... Hey, they let me win the match! Yay! I'm not getting any work done tonight, and that's the worst part. No lands, have to mulligan. No lands again, have to mulligan. Yeah, the more I see Brilliant Auto Ultimatum, the more I think that uh, Three of the Breach is where we want to be at. Put that on top. We're still going to keep this on top. Really digging this explanation point, though. Hi, Carl. I should have cast Temple first, or played Temple first. What is this madness? Coiling Oracle. Felidar Guardian, I'm getting... Uh, I'm comboed here. Alright, we're good to go. Uh, not as great as I want it to. Uh, actually, pretty darn bad. But I'm assuming that's just the risk I run. Alright, let's go. I mean, I'm playing against, like, I, I've lost to Merfolk, I've lost to, uh, I didn't actually lose to Merfolk, I conceded when the guy, uh, or when the opponent used a slur, I was like, I, I don't have to, I don't have to play against this crap, uh, sweet, lost to Eldrazi Tron, but could have pushed it to a game three had they not, Thought not seared my vengeance and I couldn't find another one. Alright, now Brilliant Ultimatum is okay. Probably be taking the omniscience pile here. Oh. Okay, I won't be taking the omniscience pile here. I'll be taking the. The Fury second ultimatum pile. Because. My hand was Garbo. Alright, so that earned a concession. I've still got no sideboard because I'm still not ready for that. I figure what I'm going to do is sit down tonight. Uh, I 
I don't know what the right split. What what? How would you split that ultimatum, Carl? I get more I did get more sprite. Yes. Like I definitely think you have to split omniscience and brilliant automaton. I don't know which pile Fury goes into. Uh, we're going to keep this hand because it's everything that I've ever wanted except for a discard spell. Yeah, so pre-board, I can't even beat this. This whole not having a sideboard thing is really... This hand's fine. He has turn one Graph Digger's Cage again, though. We just wasted time. Alright, so we'll... Looting, discard Narset, and a Swamp. that I'm casting it like this. Ugh. Looting. All right, now all we need is a vengeance, and then to not cast Graph Digger's Cage. That would be great. This is the weirdest hand in all of Magic, though. That's a Restoration Angel, not a Coiling Oracle. Uh, I don't just lose here. Because Restoration Angel says non-angel. Also says, yeah, not angel creature. I 
I figure I don't have many turns to actually uh, figure this out. I think I probably at best have one. Temple of Malice. That's a lightning axe. Lightning axe would be okay if I weren't drawing it next turn. It's okay, I didn't draw my own anyways, so... That's the end of that match. This has just been brutal tonight. I'll keep. Play two, and we'll discard infinite and assault, and draw nothing of use or nothing of value. goes a spreading seas on my blood crypt. That's an enter the infinite. You know, if I cast enough spreading seas, I might be able to cast omniscience. How wild would that be? It would be pretty wild, Josh. Maybe I'll draw Narset next turn and just have to naturally discard her. That would be really cool. It is a bad one, DH Red Link. Um, it is a Narset combo deck that is a play off of a different Narset combo deck that I saw and was playing with and didn't quite like. 
and I made some changes to it, and I afraid I, I'm afraid that I just messed up horribly. Naturally discarding Narset. This is my life now. Uh, if you give me a second, I'll link you the deck list. Oh, misclick on the creeping tar pits. <laughs> I mean, ideally, this combo would have went off on turn two. And hopefully my Narset... I mean, it's not like they're going to Swords it or Path to Exile it. So let's, let's get in. Alright, a couple of ultimatums and a vengeance. So... I guess we'll just kick off with an ultimatum. Alright, they just conceded the game. That's not fun. Uh, they just conceded the match. That's not fun either. Alright, let me, let me grab the list real quick. Uh, no lands, mulligan. Some lands, we'll keep this. There's no board yet outside of three Leyline of Sanctity because uh, we're gonna throw that on the bottom. Alright, let's loot. Jeez. Uh we'll toss for Union. My reel is black. That's not good. <gasps> it is. Ah, oh, what? Thank you, X Split. Uh, let me uh, get that back up. Womp. There we go. And they just. The hell? Okay. They conceded that match too. So I'm definitely not getting any work today. I think I got it fixed. Show me that sweet preview. I will keep this. Good is probably a little bit of an overstatement, but I'm glad that I got things fixed.
What do you got for me? Poros Charm. That's rude. I'm gonna blow up your door code. So I'm not taking a ton. Go ape on him. When I'm casting Spirit, guys, it's a really good sign that the deck has gone off the rails. Yeah, we'll keep this. Windmill slamming the ley line of sanctity in the play. Eat it, jerk face. Put that on top. <coughs> it's probably one of the best ley line matchups, I would think. Now I have to win the hard way, which is just straight up casting Immerkel. And I'm not going to have the patience to wait around for 15 mana. Yeah, it's up to 19 now, and with Spirit Guides 23. <sighs> Gotta keep going. Mulligan. Keep. I'll put that on the bottom.
Yeah, Inquisition me. See that omniscience. Scratch your head. Try to figure out what's going on here. Look at my graveyard and see the Enter the Infinite and Brilliant Ultimatum. And wonder why is this dude on Twitch wasting your time? We'll put that on top. Hopefully they don't have another one. Pack rats. This is not mono black devotion. That is not as bad as it could have been. I don't get anything out of my temple. That could have really sucked. Nice. Faithless looting again. And faithless looting one more time. And fast turn. Boo. I'm booing you, Dark Helmet. Goodbye, cathartic reunion. You gone. All right, so I'm gonna get a draw stuff, and then two more cards off of off of the next looting. We can get there. That is an enter the infinite. That is not us getting there. We can still get there. I actually don't think we can. Activate. No. Mutavolt can't activate. Another pack rat though. Come on, you big pile of stupid, give me another vengeance. Yes! You big pile of dumb deck, you did it. Now watch the four cards I exile be the worst. At least get another attack. What did I? There's no point in casting Faithless Looting. Other than Yeah, there's no point in casting faith and sleeping. Another Narset attack. 
What do you got for me, top of the deck? Omniscience and another Fury. Alright, we are kind of in business, I guess. Go ahead and play the Omniscience. Play the Fury. There's an Enter the Infinite and a Relentless Assault. So at this point, we will Enter the Infinite. Uh, yeah, that game was over. Oh, and they conceded the match. So, alright, this has been an hour. I got no work done. Uh, I'm going to go to work on a sideboard. I don't think I learned enough to see if Through the Breach would be better than Brilliant Automaton. I think it's a toss-up right now. Anyways, I, I think through the time that I've built this to the time of now, so three days, I've got enough games under my belt to try to figure out what I want for a sideboard outside of Leyline of Sanctity. So I am going to figure out that sideboard and I think tomorrow we're gonna try this in a league and well if not a league at least some some two-player cues so hopefully it's not been a complete waste of time I'm kind of feeling like it has been though but it's been fun at least so I guess it can't be a complete waste of time anyways check out the site go to the store follow us on Twitter follow us here uh, check out the YouTube channel. Uh, that is it for me tonight. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Have a good Thursday. I'll see you then.